Um, okay, so let's now uh, extract the ID from the JWT, the user ID, and put it inside uh, the post when the user created, because this is how you should do it. So first, I will create the post controller because we don't we don't have this at the moment. So posts folder and inside of it posts dot uh, controller to TypeScript. So I will make things fast because we already did most of this. So our import from type RM repository connection and server route request and response toolkit from happy and the entities from the entities and I will define a function that returns an array of several routes and just return this array for now when you open the repo in, the, in github you will see a more complete example with all the routes but for now just create the post the post request which, which is the create so the method would be post and the path would be for the slash posts and the handler well, will be a function that accepts the request of type request and from that we will get the payload we don't care about anything else so let's get let's extract a couple of things from the payload assuming that this is a partial post entity so let's get the title and the body now const p will be equal to a partial uh, post entity new post entity pass the title and pass the body now we will just return uh, post repo let's save and uh, the, the p the post and this is type partial post entity this is compliance because because in our post entity we have the user so how we can get this so first thing we need to add uh, the options object here so options will be will have an auth property which is also an object here we'll define the strategy which is the jwt this is this is this string we defined inside our init function this one okay so now this func this route won't be activated unless you have a valid jwt in your headers and how we can get the user is if you look at our path to typescript this is the valid jwt this the return value from this uh, function exists in our path Sorry, in our auth property inside the request and inside of it we have this credentials so this is everything we return from there is exist here and this has a type and one of the properties from it is the user so let's return that so here const credit will be equal to an object as auth credentials and user will be equal to user and we can just return this um, credentials will be equal to grid and that's it for the auth controller now everything here or sorry the things in the credentials uh, will exist here in the auth object but just remember I made a mistake here so this should be like this but it, it really doesn't doesn't matter that much but yeah this is the correct way this is the correct type so if, okay we got the user we can just pass it here and this will be as a user entity to be specific I think this is a no no this is a user entity yes because this is a complete user entity we did not delete anything from it because this is won't be exposed right it's just in the internal application uh, so this is it so let's just export the post controller so export from posts post controller and inside our index from controllers import that and go here and add it um i think that's it so let's run it so npm run ts no dev index of typescript 
and we need to authenticate as well so but let's just try to save a post without authentication without JWT and let's see what ha will happen so I have this route for the slash posts and I will remove the authentication token so no, no, no tokens, no authorization, no nothing and this is the title and the body so I'll try sending that so unauthorized missing authentication so even if we have an invalid uh, barrier token which is the JWT so it will it should give us or no it won't because this is valid uh, this is a valid token but we need to fix this issue right so I read I already logged in here uh, sorry my mistake uh, I know this is confusing but yeah I already logged in and this is the response when you save it but we have the post and we have the password and the salt so we have two options uh, we either only pass to the post entity the ID of the user or uh, or we can just delete it from here so so const post res will be equal to this and return or before that so delete post list to user and await that this should be a sync and just return the post this send again so it got created with, and it has the same user ID which is one we can select another user so open database users so let's get this one with ID 3 let's log in with that so go to authorization for the slash login change the email to this but yeah and login this is a different token now with a user ID 3 so let's try with that so send and the user ID is a 3 so just just a quick reminder in the repo I'm not a reminder just a note in the repository you will find that the post entity will have will accept a user ID here and here it will be this equal user ID Oops. and this would be equal to number and I think this will in this code will break our fake data posts so this will be should be user.id and user.id and that should be it so save all and I think here just pass the user ID and this will complain because it does not know the user type so as user entity and we don't need to do this now we can just return this and it will resolve that for us happy just will resolve that this promise save okay it's still working so everything is fine and the same user ID and we don't not we don't need to delete the user property so I think this is um, maybe the simplest way so yeah